citizens speak out, people in countries across the world, including Bahrain, Canada, Chile, France, Honduras, Palestine, and the U.S., continue to stand up for their rights and those of others as they gather to demand better living and work conditions, as well as greater freedom of expression and government representation. Palestinian human rights group Adamir is asking for international monitoring after Israeli forces were observed carrying out acts of violence against Palestinians in the village of Awata following a March 11th incident in which a Jewish family living in a nearby settlement was killed. On Tuesday, a group of Israeli soldiers held 20 members of one family captive in a room of their home, while other troops destroyed interior walls, broke furniture and uprooted surrounding trees. An elderly woman reports that her home has been raided five times, with her sons being severely beaten as her property was damaged. In Honduras, National Front Party and Labour Union members were joined by taxi drivers as well as students for a general strike across the country to protest higher fuel costs and the government's suspension of 305 teachers who had been calling for better wages and living conditions. Prensa Latina reports that the indigenous Mapuche people in Chile's southern region of Los Rios have fled into the mountains following a series of raids by police using pellets and tear gas. The Mapuche have been involved in a struggle to be officially recognized as an indigenous group and for a return of ancestral lands currently held by loggers, farmers and other individuals. In Bahrain, Abdul Karim al fakrawi has become the fourth citizen known to have perished in government custody. <laughs> Mr. Al Fakrawi, a bookshop owner and investor in Al Wasat, an independent daily newspaper that was under investigation for its anti government statements, had disappeared on April 4th when he went to file a complaint with police over the conduct of security forces who had demolished his home. Human Rights Watch has meanwhile called upon the Bahraini government to drop charges against three Al Wasat employees who resigned under duress. As part of the government's ongoing efforts to stifle protesters calling for a constitutional monarchy and human rights, troops raised yet another mosque in the village of Hamad on Tuesday as the sixth to be destroyed in just three days. Riot police also continued a siege on the village of Karsakan, while pro-government supporters have been attacking the village of Al-Malikia. The Canadian Peace Alliance, StopWar.ca, and other peace organizations marched through the streets of Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver, calling for their government to withdraw troops from Afghanistan, as well as an end to all global conflict, as they demanded that war funds be spent instead on social services such as health care, affordable housing, and universal child care. In the U.S., 250 legal scholars, including U.S. President Barack Obama's former constitutional law professor Lawrence Tribe, have signed a letter protesting the ill treatment of Officer Bradley Manning, who has been accused of providing WikiLeaks with U.S. military and diplomatic documents, stating that the harsh measures he has endured are both dishonorable and unconstitutional. Leaders and dignitaries from the United Kingdom, United Arab Emirates, United Nations, Arab League, African Union and North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, met on Wednesday in Doha, Qatar, to discuss the uprising and crisis in Libya as the participants emphasized that Colonel Muammar Gaddafi and his regime had lost all legitimacy. They stated that he must resign from power to allow the Libyan people to choose their own leadership. They also agreed to establish a temporary trust fund for donations from the international community to assist in the functioning of the Interim Transitional National Council. Also on Wednesday, former Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak was officially detained for 15 days of questioning, as were his sons Allah and Gamal, in connection with government corruption and the authorization of violence against protesters. Others who have also been detained for questioning on charges of abuse of power include ruling party Secretary General Safawat el-Sharif, Speaker of Parliament Fathi Sharur, as well as several other former government ministers and top regime officials. While we remain deeply saddened by the deaths and suffering of so many people, we are heartened by the dawning of peace in regions of unrest, and we pray for an end to all conflict in anticipation of the day when people of every nation live harmoniously in shared safety, dignity and freedom. In sorrowful response to these unfortunate world events, Supreme Master Ching Hai lovingly reminds, If the road is wrong, the more we walk on it, the more we go wrong. Any leaders who committed harm to others should stop at once, sincerely repent to God, and act to redeem their mistaken deeds. Then they will be pardoned, even if humans can't forgive, 
Heaven Will.